Morning everybody, welcome to Jaffa Cooks and the family's over for breakfast. Breakfast is that time of the morning where everybody wants something different. What's better than to make an omelette station? So I've dug into the fridge, taken out whatever's left. Nice way to clear out the fridge as well at the same time. So um, let's have a look what I've got. I've got some olives left over. We actually had a, um, a Turkish night the other night. So we've got some um, leftover olives, I've got some sujuk, um, I've got some potatoes from, from, the, uh, from the meal, and then generally I've got some onions that I've just sautéed off and some mushrooms just to uh, quicken up the cooking process, chilies, homemade peppers, and these are the roasted peppers that I did uh, about a week ago. If you need uh, the ingredients uh, and the recipe, just follow the description down below. Okay, I've got some baked beans here. They won't go into the omelette, but I know they were left over in the fridge from yesterday, so I want to clear them out so they'll be a side item on, on the uh, omelette. Um, so really, there's no hard and fast rule uh, for uh, making omelettes. I've even got yesterday's leftover burger as well. So um, you know, sliced tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I've got three different types of cheeses. I've got lactose-free cheese there as well. I've got Turkish cheese and general cherry cheese as well. I've got about uh, eight or 10 omelettes to make, so I've got around about 10, um, 10 eggs whipped. I'm not going to put any uh, cream or milk in it because um, none of my family actually like any um, addition to their omelets. Okay, so before I start, I'm going to move everything over to the workstation behind me and then uh, we'll get going for cracking, see how um, our omelets turn out to be. All right, see you in a short while. Okay, everyone, so one of the things that um, easiest way to, to deal with an omelet station is to lay everything out and ask everybody one by one to come over and basically pick their ingredients. It's a pick and mix type situation. Um, so everything is in front of them. They'll, they'll ask me, or I'll ask them actually what they need, and then one by one, I'll just put the ingredients into a bowl, put it into the pan, and then we'll cook the omelet off. All right, so I've got my youngest here. Um, I'm gonna ask her what she wants. What do you want? Um, tomatoes. Okay, tomatoes. Uh, cheese. Cheese I'll put towards the end. Mushrooms? Mushrooms Okay. I've got some mushrooms. Okay. Can I have some burger meat? I've got burger meat here. I've got sujuk here. What else? Can I have some fries? Okay, some potatoes. Oh, I'll just take that one out. Okay, anything else? Um, I've got some olives, a chilies. A little bit of green chili. A little bit of green chili? Yes. Okay. Anything else? No, thank you. Okay, so that's basically my first omelette. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it off in this omelette and I'll probably cook in the other pan as well at the same time. Um, so give me a couple of minutes, we'll pour some olive oil just to uh, grease the pan and then we'll start cooking. Just going to add a bit more mushrooms. Now again, you can pick and choose as you want. So I'm going to ask my other daughter to come and basically pick her toppings as well. Now, whilst she's picking her toppings, I've got 10 to 12 egg beaten eggs. And what I'm going to do is lightly pour over the eggs, egg mixture. Now, my youngest is quite small, so I didn't give her a big omelette. But what I have done is just layered enough to cover the base. Now you might find that sometimes you've got some excess um, egg mixture there and you want to cook it off. One of the ways of doing it is just to move the pan around to cover the corners. And if you've still got some left over, just push the side towards the middle of it and then just allow the mixture to go underneath. And that way, that mixture will cook faster. All right. Now, in the beginning, even I wasn't great at flipping a uh, pan, uh, sorry, a um, omelet. But what you can do, if you get underneath the, um, the omelet with your spatula, if you have, I've got a small spatula, but if you have a big spatula, it's very simple just to, I'll show you another way of doing it with a, with a, um, with a plate. So if you're still not comfortable doing it um, as I've shown you, there are other ways of flipping um, an omelette over. So, 
There is some cheese to go over this. So I'm just going to give it maybe another 10 seconds. It's caramelized up and see how really nice it's caramelized. Um, and I'm just going to pop some cheese in the middle. Probably within about 20 minutes, we'll have about a good uh, half a dozen omelets out there already. So I'm just going to... Now, when you're putting cheese in, it's always best to put cheese within the side that's slightly undercooked. I'd say there's two sides to it. There's the base side, which you started on, which was that one, and that's the upper side, which is going to be in the middle. I'm just going to take some cheese. I've got some cheddar cheese. And then I've got some kashkawal cheese, some string cheese, and this, this is from my Turkish night leftover. So again, we try not to throw anything away. You'll find that also we've got even some chips left over as well. Um, and we try and use as much as we can within the whole week. Anything that's left over, we tend to use on a, on a weekend for an omelette or, or a sandwich. So I'm just going to leave that there for a couple of minutes. Just going to take my first omelette, which you can see now, and I'm going to pop it onto the plate and serve it. All right, so let's have a look at our omelette. Yeah, there's enough cheese in there. Yeah, it's nice and stringy. So you can see that just a little bit of TLC goes a long way. All right, I'm gonna start my breakfast. Have a good morning, loves and wishes, bye.